first form of creatine that was made was creatine monohydrate. And the problem with creatine monohydrate is that when it interacts with your stomach acid, there's a conversion into creatine. And this is a toxin, you know, it attacks your, your liver, it can hurt your kidneys, it causes bloating, water retention, and basically all the side effects that you've ever heard of is caused by this reaction. So since then, there has been improvements. Creatine HCL and a pH buffered creatine claim to bypass this entire chemical reaction. So it is instantly shuttled within half an hour to your skeletal muscle tissue. So there's no bloating, there's no cycling, you don't need to load and the, the strength gains are instant. What happens is that the creatine in your muscle helps convert energy, ATP levels. And when ATP is spent, ADP is a result as a byproduct, as an exhaust basically. What creatine does is it takes that ADP and converts it back into energy in the form of ATP. So this is why you have more endurance and that's why you have more strength. The difference between pH buffer creatine and creatine monohydrate is simply a buffering agent. Creatine monohydrate is mixed with a pH alkaline buffering agent which raises the pH value. And this is why it's able to avoid the chemical reaction in the stomach acid because it's more of an alkaline environment. So it gets shuttled instantly to your muscle tissues as opposed to having this chemical reaction in an acidic environment in your stomach. So there is no conversion to creatine. Now with creatine HCl, creatine hydrochloride, it's an extremely stable molecule. It's stable in a neutral environment, acidic and alkaline, so it doesn't break down basically. The creatine molecule is shuttled from your stomach to your muscle tissue intact. So that's why it's so much more effective, because it does not break down into creatine. But the thing about uh, pH buffered creatine is that it's much more cost effective. You know, you can get stuff like EFX, Crealkaline, for as little as seven cents per serving. Whereas creatine HCL, you're looking at an average of 40 to 50 cents per serving. It has the most social proof. You know, you look at bodybuilding.com, you look at supplementreviews.com, and you go through all the different reviews that people have been reporting, real-time users, and the ratings are over nine out of 10 and they always report better endurance, faster recovery, more strength. And then you look at uh, the pH buffered creatines and they're still high. You know, you're looking at 8.5, 8.6. It's very effective, but not reported as effective as creatine HCL. When it comes to um, the Cree alkaline, the pH buffered creatine, some of the best products are SciFit 1500, uh, Fusion Purple K, and EFX Crealkaline. Those are very cost effective. Like I said, you can get it down for almost seven cents per serving. When it comes to creatine HCL, some of the best forms are Promera Concrete, which was the original, and uh, a new product by Muscle Tech called Creacore. Very, very high quality creatine HCL. But like I said, it's a little more expensive. But if I had to choose the best form of creatine, it would be creatine HCL. If you enjoyed this information and would like the full 12-part series of the top questions that people ask when it comes to bodybuilding supplements, visit rawmusclegain.com free. I'll see you there.